okay so uh, today we will uh, try to discuss you know to write the rejects for the password that we did discuss in the last video and in this we will try to achieve we will try to write the rejects to allow exactly one special character we will see like how exactly one special character we can allow in the password so this is the rejects that we wrote last time just to check like you know we should have at least one uppercase at least one lowercase one number as well as these special character and these also should be present at least one time so means it could be one time two time or multiple times so this is what we did in the last password rejects today like we want to allow exactly one special character so how we can do in the same <clears throat> i will uh, copy this rejects i will paste here and now you know this one basically we want exactly one time so what we will do basically this you will not be right you will be writing just a question mark equal to look ahead operator okay and here you will specify all the special character that you want to include after that here we have also have to make sure like in beginning and in last there should be other than these special characters so what how we can do i will copy the same and here i will write one time okay and this will be representing beginning so it could be in beginning it could be anything other than this so represent other than this means we will use here upper carrot and you know if upper carrot present inside the square bracket it represent exclude these characters okay so now these characters will be excluded in the beginning and any number of time it could be excluded means any number of time other character other than this can occur <coughs> then these characters we want exactly one time so leave it as it is okay and or if you want you can make it in the curly braces one also or you can write at also okay anything will work but as of now if we don't don't write still exactly one character will be taken we will be accepted from this and then again in last we want anything other than these special characters so i will copy the same i will paste here and i don't want this to be in last so other than this means again i have to use this upper caret which represents ki exclude these characters no need to have these characters other than these characters anything can occur in last as well so we will use a star means any number of time you know it can occur and then followed by dollar okay it represents in last <coughs> so this is what basically we will write so this is the you know rejects to make sure that exactly one times these special characters can occur so what are all the special character that you want to include you will be writing in this set okay and then here exclamation everything i want to include so you will mention and you will be able to achieve this let's cross check whether we are we are it is working perfectly or not so i will copy i will paste this here i already have written the code so i will write i will paste this rejects here and then we will check <clears throat> so if you see we have this eight characters and i currently have exactly one special character i will run and i am expecting that this character you know any special character can this special character can occur exactly one times now this is what the rejects is written for and so we have exactly one times if i run we are expecting valid let's check whether it is valid or not so here you can see we are getting this valid okay so if i show you uh, let's also verify about the multiple so i will say here has also needs to be included so has although we want exactly one times but we have given the two special characters we can run and let's check you know this time we are expecting invalid and you can see we are getting invalid also because we are including two however if we remove again suppose at the rate we are including excluding and any characters that are you know we have mentioned here if these characters is exactly one time then of course it will be valid one so this time you can see uh, you know it will be valid one okay so this is how basically we can write the rejects if we want you know 
to occur any special character exactly one times okay so this is the rejects that we can have along with that we have one another scenario also like if we have to exclude any special character like see i don't want to allow users to have plus and minus in the password so how we can restrict just a small modification you have to do and followed by that it will start ex ex you know <clears throat> accepting so currently if i give a plus okay so basically you know we have not included plus in that okay it means it will anyway it will be invalid only right if we run you can see we are getting this invalid but explicitly i want to make sure key you know it should not be allowed at any condition okay anyway we are getting this but still if you want if you don't want to allow or you want to restrict this to because see if we put plus post which it will start expecting you know accepting but we don't want we don't want this to you know uh, allow and we want to restrict so for restriction you can write what this way you can write in the parenthesis then again put Uh, question mark and then followed by exclamation then dot and a star so dot a star will represent ki anything any number of time dot means replaces any character and a star means any times followed by the set of character that you don't want to allow so like plus minus so now these characters we don't want to allow so this is how you will write and now it will check if plus will be there it will be taking it will be rejecting basically our program will be invalid in that case our input will be invalid so uh, you know uh, if i again run with a special character called plus earlier also by default it was hand handling and now also we will do so still output you will get same however this is the syntax that you will follow if explicitly you have to restrict a particular a special character like here so you will be writing question mark exclamation then dot a star dot represents can be replaces any character and a star represents the number of times it can occur okay so you know followed by plus and minus or all the special character that you want to restrict so now if any sp uh, password will have a plus or minus that password will start to be invalid okay so that password will be treated as invalid so this way basically you can restrict and here is the rejects that we have written to achieve exactly one special character to be allowed in the password i hope you understood it so that's it for now